from the green train to the Fuxin bullet train. From 30 kilometers an hour to 350 kilometers an hour. From high demand tickets to instant departures. My name is Garrett Jones. I'm an American writer. Come with me on a journey through China's high-speed trains. From west to east. From north to south. Meet the drivers of high-speed trains. And in about 13 hours, we're all gonna arrive to Chengdu. Explore with geologists how high-speed trains cross mountains and valleys. Unlock travel tips for your own high-speed rail journey. Experience the dual city life of high-speed commuting. In the southwest heartland of China lie two super cities, Chengdu and Chongqing. Separated by less than 300 kilometers as the crow flies, these cities were historically divided by rugged mountains. Yet the two cities have never stopped communicating. Today, with the rail travel time between them reduced from 13 hours to just one hour, generations of Chinese railway workers have created a magical portal between these two cities. Today, let's follow in their footsteps and embark on a remarkable journey through time and space. Hi, my name is Garrett Jones. I'm an American writer. I'm also the grandson of a railroad worker. My grandfather was born in 1927, and he worked for over 40 years on the railroad as an engineer. There's a lot of grandchildren of railroad workers here in Sichuan now, between Chengdu and Chongqing. The Sichuan Basin, one of China's four major basins, the unique terrain not only isolated the people of Ba and Shu from the outside world, but also created formidable barriers between them. Thus, for thousands of years, building roads has been a shared obsession of the people. I'm standing at a construction site for the Chengdu-Chongqing rail line. This is gonna be the fourth line between the two cities and the third high-speed rail line. Once this is completed, It'll take just over 50 minutes to get from Chengdu to Chongqing. There's no one more interested in this question than Mr. Sun. Hey, Su 老师,你好,你好。你好,你好。你好,你好。真是你很高兴。我叫钟嘉瑞。Uh, this year, Mr. Sun Yisun, a former railway builder, is 92 years old. In 1950, he participated in the construction of Southwest China's first railway, the Chengdu-Chongqing Railway. Mr. Sun is now planning to publish a book that records the past and charts the future of the Chengdu Chongqing Railway. The challenge of overcoming spatial barriers has always been the most prominent issue between these two cities. From perilous waterways and rugged ancient roads to narrow and winding highways, it took thousands of years to shorten the distance in time between the two cities from half a month to one week. And finally, in 1952, with the sound of a train whistle, Chengdu and Chongqing achieved a new level of connectivity. <laughs> Uh, 
，他对路特别有感情，是，因为他没有路。修修铁路的时候，也火车都没还还没看到，没有见过，没有见过火车呀、啊。呃，修的铁路是一九五零年六月十五，我到那报道开工了啊啊，一九五二年七月一号通车、嗯，我一直一步一步的从重庆啊，柴杨坝一直走到成都车站，十三万人。两年时间把这条铁路修通了，对我们来说就是一个超级工程，对，是,是一个超级工程。The Chengdu-Chongqing Railway was the first railway independently designed and built after the founding of the People's Republic of China. In that era, there were little to no funds. Railway workers made use of local materials, and residents along the route donated money and supplies to the workers. Without the use of modern technology, they had to develop their own railway construction standards. You 修建铁路七十年之后，为什么等到这么久才、啊、才开始写这个这个话题？这个书我这个书写了哪个来看嘛？没人看呐、啊！真的，我是最大的顾虑是这个问题。一个作家的朋友。就跟我说，你如果不写，后人是没有人能写这个书的。如果你不在了，那就是很可惜的事情。嗯、所以你必须尽快的写出来。嗯、他语重心长，你要紧抓紧啊。嗯、所以九十岁才开始写。这是这在上面，这是站台。So this in Chinese is called the Liu Pizza. Everyone switched over to the high speed train now, but some people still like to go down memory lane and and ride this or go on. The, it's a slow train, but it's the last pair along this line. From 1952, from that day, it's this Liu Pizza train. Our this train is used since the 1990s. 有的人不干什么事儿，买一张票就是左门上来坐一坐火车。啊，我们很多人去这个铁路的成长，成长起来的，一代又一代人的记忆。啊，是是是是。好的，慢点慢点慢点。好的。你学什么呢？英语嘛，非常出奇。背单词是吗 ？Good morning， 米拉桑。我只干了什么东西的？嗯，<笑>大家好，大家辛苦了，大家辛苦了。以前我们也是四川人，到贵州罗富了，修铁路。嗯、呃，他是赚了很大一笔铁路经济，他的父辈就在这儿修啊。The swaying carriages carry diverse lives. In an era without smartphones, a train was like a small society, where strangers from all walks of life shared stories from all over the country. The train carried the hopes of students pursuing their dreams, the resilience of migrant workers, the ambitions of entrepreneurs, and the warmth of those eager to return home. The green trains were slow enough. To give them all enough time to tell each other their life stories. This is your train. Ah, this is the train. Wow. Ah. Why did you choose this place to build this train? The whole train is built on this road. You have to build this road. Ah, build this road. 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 都没有这些房子啊，啊，就是铁路有了，也有有人家了，啊、是吧？就兴旺起来了，是,是铁路带动了他们呢。孩子可以去上学，啊啊，对，打工，对对对，是这样的，是这样的。城乡交流、物质交流、人员往来，必须通过这个道路。嗯、我觉得很安静，没有一个咔咔咔咔咔咔咔的那个声音，对吗？这是我的青春呐、啊！你的青春在、啊，青春在这儿啊！啊，对对对，真的，我的青春就不在了，跟着钢轨的人路的声音就不在了。
The sound of these trains lasted for over half a century and gradually receded into the pages of history. China was moving into a new era. People wanted an even faster mode of travel. They yearned for speed. And especially when the holidays came around, this desire grew even stronger. Today is June 5th, five days before the Chinese traditional festival, Duanwujie, or Dragon Boat Festival. And it's almost five o'clock in the morning, and we're at this train depot in Chengdu to catch the trains going to work. So at about four to five in the morning every day, they start heading to work. Uh, and you can see here that from five in the morning till 10.30 at night, this place is open. There's about three trains every half hour. You can see here on the schedule that every departure and arrival is down to the minute. It's that punctual. I'm about to meet up with a friend and making trains run on time is his number one priority. Forty year old Zhongling Yu from Chongqing has been working in the railway industry for 22 years. He's one of China's first high speed train drivers. Operating the Fuxing bullet train at 350 kilometers per hour between Chengdu and Chongqing, a journey that now takes only 62 minutes. He has driven more than 20 types of trains with frequent upgrades and models. It makes me think that China's urgent need for speed in its railway development is not yet fully quenched. Indeed, Ling Yu's dream finally became reality with the Fuxing Hao reaching speeds of 350 kilometers an hour. But with those kinds of speeds comes a new set of challenges. Wow! This is the first time. So awesome. Now I've got a ticket for a train that's leaving for Chongqing in about 20 minutes. And we're going to go see what it's like for Chinese to visit their relatives on the holidays. Come with me. Holidays are the busiest times for railway workers, and all high-speed train drivers are required to be on duty, including Zhong Ling Yu. For 22 years, he and his family have always chosen to celebrate holidays during off-peak times. So I'm here to meet up with his parents. We're going to go together to Chengdu, where he gets off work, and then he's gonna meet up with us. We're gonna to go to his relatives in Chengdu's house and celebrate together. The Chengdu Chongqing High Speed Railway connects Chengdu, an international city. A poet's dream. In a center of technology and innovation with Chongqing, the symbiotic relationship between the two cities over thousands of years has created what is now a one hour living circle for the hundred million people in this economic circle. 
七，然后二十二岁嘛，好都参加了那个呃民工队啊，参加修修修筑成渝铁路，因为他们当时修到成重庆了过后啊，好他们就留下来了。OK guys， let's go， 我帮你帮你，我帮你骑着，快点，马上。阿老师，啊，今天是我儿子在走那辆车，我正好坐我儿子车到成都去。我们当时回一趟成都的话，就是说从晚上八点钟要到第二天早晨六点钟才能够到成都。有一趟慢车是要开十六个小时，现在就不一样了，现在两米一个小时就可以，这个就可以到最早的蒸汽机车，好，现在都进博物馆了。<笑>好，现在的三百五十公里，我就说是。安个字板可以飞起来了。您到那个出站口等我一下，我去推个陈就过来找你们。没走标数二九，走走走。都是一家人，是啊，都姓钟啊。那今天就交给你来。我之前我就知道端午节是一个花灯粥，花灯粥，还有吃吃粽子的意思。This is my first time、uh, to celebrate Dragon Boat Festival in a Chinese Chinese family's home. Okay. All right. Oh. Oh yeah. 盘香，咱咱台，好丰富啊！你们是兄弟姊妹吗？还是？是兄弟，是表兄弟。哦，知道了啊。妈妈妹妹的。哦、oh, ，我是姐姐的孩子，他是妹妹的。哦、oh, ，你们重庆的，这里有三位是吧？还有成都的有三位，但是你们是一家人。It's safe to say that every Chengdu resident has a few relatives in Chongqing, and every Chongqing resident has a few friends in Chengdu. Chengdu and Chongqing have become each other's second hometown. 我跟他那个周末没得事的。都七点过了，我说走重庆去吧，劝他或者南站坐九点过来动车，十一点就到了，一个多小时，一个多小时。相当于现在那种距离感已经已经消失了，是，就没有说要需要呃考虑这个多多远，然后时间的问题，是，现在已经。不是问题了，对，真的，我可以突然间就说，对，咱们去重庆，说走就走，就是说走就走，对对对,对。现在我们才八点零五分，是我们最晚的车，十点半都还有车。哦，是吧？我吃了饭，我们还可以聊会儿天，就太便捷了。现在。Our journey from the green trains to the Fuxing bullet train has come to an end. Across the globe, super cities became what they are because of their proximity to the sea. Chengdu and Chongqing, deeply rooted in China's heartland, are exceptions to this rule. And now, connected to the world by railway, they are the fourth pole of China's economic development. The history of the Chengdu-Chongqing economic circle is a history of transportation evolution, marked by the efforts of generations of Chinese railway workers over 70 years. The Chengdu-Chongqing railway is not just a pile of steel and gravel, but the whispers of time and the witness of history itself. I've seen the courage of Chinese railway workers embarking to pick up where others left off, and where each of their accomplishments are merely prologues to new beginnings. Regarding China's future on rails, I'm sure the Fuxing bullet train is another beginning.